I lived in West Hollywood um, for a few months and as you guys watched my crazy landlord video like I had a terrible time living there um, and Danny was my like she was like two blocks away neighbor basically so you know we started hanging out whatever the first time we met is when I did the podcast for her and Camila um, which you guys probably know about her and Camila immediately fell out when I asked her why she was like I don't know I don't know I don't know keep that in mind um and I did think that was weird but I was just like whatever like you know I don't really know Camila so it's like whatever just it is what it is so um me and Danny start hanging out more because I'm her neighbor we we kind of clicked because she drinks hella wine I drink hella wine so and she it she stays in the house like she doesn't go out um because she doesn't have any friends in LA and nobody wants her out anywhere when she goes places in LA um which I will also get into but I was okay with that I don't mind chilling at home having wine watching movies like I'm I'm I, I don't need to party all the dang time so whatever we like you know we kind of connected in that kind of way um Danny would constantly ask me to film with her in her YouTube videos if you go to my channel you don't see videos with Danny in them but if you go to her channel and you type in my name how many videos pop up I couldn't even tell you because every time we hung out She's like, can we film a YouTube video? Can we film a YouTube video? And the reason why I would be like, yes, is because A, she was my friend. B, she doesn't have any money. I know that my name on her channel is going to get her clicks, which it did and which it does, which is what she's, what she's currently trying to milk. If you go to her channel now, it's winter, winter, winter. My channel, it's mute. It's nothing. So there's that. Um, I constantly helped her with youtube i constantly did these favors for her when i did not want to do it the reason why i did not want to do it as most of you know i've been trying to get away from bgc for years um me being friends with her was because i was trying to give her a chance besides what everybody says about her when i first became friends with her everybody warned me not to do it everybody warned me how she was everybody warned me but i saw this side of her that i was like you know what this is a sweet girl like I feel bad like maybe people are just bandwagon not liking her so let me give her a chance I soon realized that these people were not lying that she is indeed bat shit crazy this whole incident right now is literally literally ridiculous because she is lying out of her fucking asshole I don't even know how she's coming up with this shit let's get into the points the incidents that happened while we were friends was the John situation. This guy that she dated for a little bit and she became completely obsessed with. I was not friends with her when they were together, but she told me that they were so in love and blah, blah, blah. She told me that he had her blocked. She would send him paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs every single day, even while being blocked. She made up this whole lie in her head. Oh yeah, girl, he has this app on his phone and he can see when I text him even though I'm blocked. I know he can. I know he's watching my messages. This man has a whole girlfriend, like has a whole life. We would be out sitting at a restaurant. She'd be like, oh my God, John just drove past. I know that was the, his car. One day she was on the way from my house. She had picked up coffee. Oh my God, girl, I was driving in the street. This man ran in front of my car. I hit him with the car. It was John. I hit John with my car on the way here. It came to the point where I started telling my mom, mom, I'm starting to become a little concerned about this girl because she's being weird and obsessive over this man when I would try to be there because I was like look I understand what it feels like to get your heart broke because you know I've definitely been there but it became obsessive as fuck like literally this girl watches him from pages and pages her sister watches him from pages and pages every single day texts him every single day calls him every single day she she's blocked she's literally blocked it's fucking crazy whatever i'll constantly tell her look girl you need to let that shit go like you need to try to find a new man like you need to just get the fuck out go outside like you're you're doing a lot i didn't want to be like bitch you're fucking crazy but you know i was trying to be there for her as a friend and be like you got to get out of this situation this is not healthy for you like i was a very supportive friend our entire friendship this whole narrative that she made up that i was ever rude to her is completely false everybody around me knew how much i tolerated with this girl because i was so scared for us to fall out which is exactly what